coach rowing, the guys who are doing rowing now, though they moved to South Africa, but what can you expect from those guys? You were with them for the longest time. Yeah, yeah. Well, the reason why we farmed them out was because, you know, we believe that the athlete is the most important person in the whole process of the Olympics. And we farmed them to South Africa because there they could be with other athletes in a structured program where they would be pushed and driven much harder than we had the facility to do here at home. So uh, we're grateful to the South African coach who was willing to allow our athletes to go into their program but still keep their identity, still be Zimbabwean, still raise our flag high, and our expectation is that they're going to be faster than they were in 2012, for certain, right? In rowing, strange event, it's like a knockout competition, so the top six boats out of 30 entries will be in an A final, and then the next six will be in a B final, but the medals were for the A finals. In the last Olympics, 2012, we were in the C final. In this Olympics, we will definitely be in that B final, my Keith Thorneycroft, and if she cracks that A final to be in that top six boats, we'll be immensely proud of her, so that's what we're hoping for. Alright, Rich, uh, talking about the Paralympics. I know everybody's just excited about the Olympic Games. Yes. And uh, we're forgetting that soon after the Olympics, then comes the Paralympics. Yeah. Are, are we ready? <laughs> are we ready? That's a great question. We are the first uh, rowing crew, para rowing crew, to, to be in Zimbabwe, but we're also the first para rowing crew in Africa. So there's a lot of uh, expectation to see an African crew uh, to participate on the world stage for the first time. So uh, we're really excited about that. And um, no, we're novice. This is totally new. <laughs> um, and, and my guy, you know, the guys might have got two men and two women compose a team and a coxswain and uh, with varying um, abilities. And they, they're very new to rowing. And so what we want to do is we want to go out there and hold our heads up high and show them that, uh, you know what, you don't have to, it doesn't have to take four or five years to go and break through and you try something out. So we've got the wild card to go and uh, we're expecting already just to go out on that world stage and just to, to make people smile and show people that, you know what, it's possible. Like in a short space of time, we've only been doing this for six months, so in a very short space of time, you can, uh, you can, you can make some pretty exciting things happen.